How's it been? They were playing Super OST and it's back for the expansion. I did take a week off. I feel good because I've been playing a Super Robot Wars game like every week for the last like three years. So it felt good and weird also to not be playing one, but we bought the expansion. So we're going to play additional content and you must select save data to continue, which is the last one I did, which seems so long ago when there wasn't an election. The, ah, distant memories of days long past. There will be changes made though. Uh, first off, show. I'm gonna say he. I'm gonna say the going back to Sephiro and Bison and Well and all that stuff has revived him, but he's not gonna be in the party. He's still he's still out. Wait, basic custom, play expansion, with enemy custom ranks at the basic. Basic difficulty expansion scenarios are difficult hard. The number of start points you require are affected game mode subroutes. What the hell does that even mean? This is a custom rank when replaying the cleared main game for the first time. So the game mode, okay, super custom, play the super the custom ranks at the super custom. In addition to enemies difficult, hard, normal, the number of star points you can acquire are affected by game subroutes. Enemy pilot level mech and customizations are raised. This is the custom rank when replaying and clearing the main game for more than one time. Well, we did clear the main game, so... Hyper custom is... We just hit the heart, so... Hard, normal, SR points, enemy pilot level mechs are raised. Well, in hyper custom and super expert... This is the least straightforward explanation of anything I've ever read in my entire life. Uh, the highest difficulty possible. Similar to games in enemy custom rank can be changed in options. So we can change these. But we did the full game on hard, and it wasn't even hard. So let's just go super custom. It does say this is the custom rank from replaying the cleared main game for more than one time. We cleared it one time. Does this mean taking it more than one? So like the bad guy is going to be like level... 200 or something? Are we getting the Disgaea territory? There. We'll do super and see what happens. We have a million dollars again. And we keep all the customizations. But we don't get all the pilots off, off the top. I know that for a fact. Okay, so the new special order gives us plus 10 to every stat. I don't have any idea how I'm going to... You know what? I'll wait till I get the characters who I'm going to use because one of the things about this expansion is we are going to get the characters from uh, V and Cross, and I am 100% putting in uh, the V characters. I love them. Uh, not so much the Cross characters. You may put them in just to, just to mix it up and see them again, but not so much on the fact that I actually want to use them because as much as I enjoyed Cross, the main cast wasn't well, all that interesting in my opinion. Okay, so we're not going to spend any money yet, because I didn't want to save the money for when we get the uh, the new guys. So I don't know what levels they come at customization-wise and, and everything. So, let's just continue on and see what happens. A few months after the end of the Daybreak War, which shook the solar system, in this new golden age, a world filled with hope, lies an immense catastrophe that's beginning to emerge from the shadow. Great. It's only been a few months, everything's going to hell again. Can't get your break, can we? I'll see that again. Uh oh. This is not going to be what we think it is. I mean, do they not need you guys to make more machines? I mean, surely, just because the date break war is over doesn't mean they don't need you guys to make more, you know, suits. Yeah, you gotta adjust, man. If you're losing money, you have to change your revenue stream. We know, Rudy. Oh, was that something that you just did in the UND? Whatever. Oh, did you just Farnsworth us?
there's a catch here. It is bad news that they're calling us in. Where's Amro and everybody? It's Lando Bell. Okay, good. Amro is good. We get Amro. And Beecha and L. Oh, boy. Okay, we got Kincaid. He's looking up. Kincaid and Amro can do two hits apiece, so they can probably kill one unit by themselves. Even though I turned the corner and reclaimed the name of Seabook Arno, I'll be Kincaid from now on during these missions. So we don't have to change the name in the character screen. Just the Earth Sphere, huh? I mean, can we pick up people on the, along the way, like Domon or... I'll take Spike. Is it Malice? I don't know. Is it Malice Amro? You're the new type here. Expansion Scenario 1, Ill Omen. Ah, it's fun doing that again. Okay, this... On the face, this looks horrible. But it's not. It's only mostly horrible. Move things up a notch. This can't be a long map either. We only have, like, what, nine units? Uh, Amro, don't tell me you have a bad feeling about this. Thank goodness I buffed up the, the normal crossbones, otherwise Kincaid would be having a hard time too. Because I put him in the in the uh, full cloth last time. Aren't you guys all new types also? Oh, they're just Neo Zeon remnants. I mean. They're in Neo Zeon machines. We don't know they're Neo Zeon, but I mean, what? Oh, well, I guess I don't want to talk either. At least we got Sagiri so we can heal. Are they actually golems? Four turns! Okay, we gotta end this quick. Uh, are you actually pilots? Or are you. Yeah, you're Neo Zeon pilots. Level 120, okay, maybe I should have done normal custom. 21,000 for the weakest ones, okay. Uh, I may have screwed the pooch here, guys. We, we may have to bump that down to basic custom. Especially since he's level 18. <laughs> I only have four units who are in any kind of actual fighting shape. Uh, mistakes were made. Also, I don't care if they die because I'm never going to use them again. <laughs> They're going to go straight for these guys in the back. At least the F-91s can do something. Okay, this is going to suck. Um, hello? But then again, we don't have, uh, focus? Oh, that's right, the music follows the ship, not the character. I still like it. Um, God, I was gonna say. I mean, it's still doable, 45 miss. Oh, thank God. I'm probably gonna change that between maps. See if I gotta rerun the whole map again, it's fine. Oh, this is bad. Depends how much damage we do. Like, if we can still do a normal amount of damage on these guys, we're in trouble.
I don't have enough morale for that. Um, I guess so. I don't care about soul suggests, I just don't want to die. Hey Sagiri, how much are you gonna take just by defending us? Yeah, this is bad. I guess it means I guess it means being the game more than one time, not being the game one time. Because these are some of the highest level characters still, and they're not even close to doing enough damage to kill these guys. Like we should be one and two shying them. We'll do a trap combination, I guess. Especially, especially if Amaro Kincaid can't do two attacks on these guys, then you know where I screwed up. And that's on me. Like, when the basic enemies are 40 levels higher than us, I think I made the wrong call. Can I change that mid-battle? So I can change it in the option menu. Boom! Sweet like 4,000 probably. That's 6,000 still not bad. Hooray, Amaro's only 36 levels below these guys now. Almost. Um, yeah, do that. Don't worry, Sagiri. I should probably have had her support attack then. Oh god, this is so bad. Like, we have four guys who can't do anything because they're so weak. Please tell me I have backup. Oh, thank God. Please tell me it's super strong, borderline gunbuster level backup. I'll take it. Oh, thank goodness, Summer is online. Uh, I mean, might as well. Oh, we only have Rudy and... Well, that might... And 30 energy. We'll see. That might be extraordinarily useful. Okay. You're, you're not going to be helpful. You're helpful. You're helpful. And you're helpful. But even then, I don't think this is going to end well for us. Okay, we're back. Things are slightly different because I restarted and did basic, and now these guys are still level 100, but... Um, unlike last time, you know, now Bright has a 29% hit chance, of them, and they're not as strong. Like, they were actually, like, only having 10% hit chances for people like, uh, uh, Seabook here. So, yeah, this is actually a reasonable amount of, uh, fighting now, as opposed to before. <laughs> Uh, you know, these are all easy. Let's just do a zeal. Let's see if they can actually hurt them. Like, he's 105. But then again, you know, being up like 10 levels is better than being up 40 levels. Like the second Amro and Seabook couldn't, our Gengade could not double attack them, I knew that was like, oh god. Not good. So it, it literally means like you need to beat the game twice before you should be doing the super one. Which is fine. I kind of wanted to play again, this one again with Sagiri as the main character, because I think she, she's an interesting character. And seeing Saizo as the outsider might be more interesting, I think. Well, this kill that was like, I, I mean, it had to like crit and do like a crap ton of damage to kill. So this is a Sheriff Neo Zeon soldiers, huh? You will, but he has a shield. Will it actually hurt him? Okay. I think 
Shiro should try to kill this guy. If he can. This is a horrible idea. I'm, not gonna, I'm never going to use Shiro anyway. And here's the thing. Even if he hits him, he's not going to kill him. Ugh. Just like you guys. Like, you, like even if you have VSBR. Hey, did I buff up one of these things? Are these not the F-91s I had before? Because one of these was buffed up. Spur was using it. Okay, and these guys are level 100. Not necessarily do this for money, but definitely for experience. And also, Sagiri will probably be more fleshed out this time because this is expansion, so she pretty much could be like the protagonist this time. Like, I think she actually have more conversations and stuff. Good five levels ahead. Yeah, it's not really that good. We need a. There we go. Yeah, these freaking guards are going to be the problem. Bingo. Level 100. Is that the first one that cracked the triple digit barrier? Works for me, that way they can just dodge it. They're not just normal terrorists, they're somehow even stronger than the end game boss. How's this possible? I'm asking that question, how's this possible? I was trying to forget, this is, this is the one I had Puru on, it has Soul of Steel. Oh, frick, you have multiple support defense? Oh, you losers. Oh, you can't do anything. Oh. I mean, he can't do anything with a double, not even a double peacock smash would, uh... How about a double sold up peacock smash? There we go. I'm happy burning these because we're still out of numbers. So I'd rather whittle down these numbers now and then take a turn to. Yeah, because I mean. The support defense are going to hurt us, so taking out these guys now would definitely help out. And we can definitely do more multi-actions next time. It's getting killing him is more important than anything else, because we just have got we got four turns. Wow, really? Yeah, you show him Tetsuya. Damn Tetsuya almost got him and wow, he actually hit Tetsuya. He's, even with the barrier he hit Tetsuya for a freaking crap ton. Is that because... No, you still can't... You cannot hurt him at all because you're too weak. I don't care. And I don't care if he dies, honestly. This is the strongest attack. They can't even do 1,300 on these guys. Did 10. Yeah, Shiro, you're going to die, and I'm sorry. And I'm only kind of sorry about that. I'm gonna get one of those. I bet this is a four turn one, it's kind of crazy because you don't get good units. Like, would anybody have leveled up L, Beach, uh, and all them? Like, you're basically only gonna start with four people. So, unless we get more units next turn.
I don't see us doing that. Oh, man, we can't even kill these guys with freaking valored up attacks. There we go. But a valored up and smash hitted. That's quite okay. Cool, then we got mods in power online. So now we're, we're, t we're getting online now, so that's gonna help out because now he's above 130. That also means that like, freaking uh, instinct, attacker, all those stuff's gonna start turning online. Uh, was that the SR point? <laughs> I mean, we'd shoot him down if it wasn't for the, uh, what's it, for that damn support defense. Any of you guys have 4C? You have persist. You have persist. All right, come on, Beachy. You're going to die, but do it, with some, do it with some dignity, man. Come on. Once again, I don't care if they die. I'm actually more impressed he nailed that 30. Will this kill him? It could. Amuro is freaking strong. Yeah, stand by. You're still good. Once again, taking him out is more important. And leveling the hell up, too. Jeez. I'm right with the third guy down this map. Oh, so we took enough guys now. Now it's actually an event. A little bit. Oh, please tell me it's Ruri. I'll take it. Oh, it's that's right. It's not Haman's not in the Sazabi or the Nightingale. It's Shar. <sighs> Whatever. Backup's backup. Oh God, and Shar and Haman's in her freaking cubelay. You know what? Screw it. Love it up. Yeah, I mean, you do that, he's not going to live. Once again, if I lose most of these guys, I don't care. I, I need Hamana to stay alive, she's not my, one of the good guys. Oh, that's actually not bad. Oh. Quest, you have love, right? Um... Oh crap, I should use her Disrupt. Stupid. Okay, so she can't kill him, but Yune, I don't care about you. Bullseye and Flash. I just hit this guy so Quest can... Because Quest, I think, is in the 60s, so she can kill this guy. She can probably get in the 70s, which will help her actually stay alive. Still nothing? Jeez. 
You have love on. Of course, I did, these mechs are not powered up. The Nightingale is, fortunately. Unfortunately, it's powered by Char. Let's probably put Char right here. Okay, don't kill him, Char. I don't care if you die, but I want that machine. Let's see, even Shar can't do anything to these guys. Alright. There it is, okay. It's only because Quest is level 67, so she's high enough where getting this will actually help out. Gune, whatever. Mass Mirror, whatever. Okay, all the Mazin powers are up. Um, I guess I should move you over here to help these guys out. Yeah, it sounds right. Yeah, how much you do to you? Oh, that's still a lot of damage. All right, you guys can't literally do anything, so. I knew that was happening, though. Uh, what if he defends? Oh, God. <laughs> What if he persists? That's all he's got. I knew it was going to happen. You know, wall it up and just re return fire there, Sigiri. Did you at least damage these guys? Oh, wow, he'll live through that? Damn, color me impressed. Like a hundred hit points probably, but he'll live. Somehow. At least they're moving. He's only got two more turns. Oh, crap. He's dead. He's got nothing. Uh, burn that 4C, I guess. Any more? Anybody else? No, just all, still us. Okay. Uh, I think we're going to use that supporter, though. Uh, supporter, everybody... You know what? Screw it. We'll do it twice. Oh, we're gonna do it once per turn. Damn it. Okay, but we can, he at least we got plenty of guys who can do multiple uh, like like these guys don't have much light. Like they're not that much stronger than normal units. They just we just gotta kill them. That's the trick. Like if Amon loves, yeah, she can totally kill that guy. Sorry, fast forward a little bit. Yeah, please hit. Well, I mean, I, I know it will. This is turn three, and the objective was exceeds four turns. So we still have one more turn to this. So we don't have to, like... Suicidally throw ourselves into the into the fray right now, at least. And the most being his three, so. Char's gonna funnel these guys. Actually, kill one. Oh, shoot. Oh, she got him. Damn. Yeah, you gotta move, because you are going to die if I had... But I should just assume you're dead, because there's no way I can save you, pal. <laughs> All right, Sagiri's going in here. A little Slash Ripper. Kill him. I can't hit anybody from there. Damn it. 
At least these guys are all separated out now, so Kincaid can actually get in there and do a couple of hits. And he's still got Persist on. He's gaining those levels. Yeah, I think Ryoma and Tetsu need some kills, but the problem is these guys, because they're not separating. Alright, Amuro! Can you get their soul? Oh. Downtown fin funnel action. Oh crap, I did not multi-action Amuro. Oh, that's bad. Well, I mean, not really, because... We have enough guys to throw at them that we can kill them next turn. Like if he multi-actions and smash hits and Peacock smashes this guy with a soul, he has his persist on still. He'll totally kill this guy. It's still coming together, it's just rough because of the four turn time limit. Only got what four, six, seven left. How's he doing on power? He's doing great on power. Oh, he can kill this guy for certain. What are we collecting? Why are we keep? I think he's popped up like that. I still kind of want Sagiri to give him more energy, but I don't know how it's going to work. Yeah, because they'll get the um, the block. Which basically killed him. Oh no, you can only do like 10 damage, you, you suck. Um. Oh, that means if we get our shine spark, this guy, they'll just be dead, dead. All right, we'll shine spark that guy. Can we get a, how many, how many cheers can we get? Oh, like four, perfect. Yeah, one shot him. Bring you guys all up. Since you do that, um... Definitely need your own one. Is your 84? That's on the low side of four right now, apparently. Nice, yeah, full on the X charges though. That's good. Yoink! I mean, he's helping us get the EX charges at least, which is good. Slash Ripper! Yes! Get him, Sagiri! She's got this. Oh, in the back! In the front! Oh, he can't do it with one punch? Oh, we got.
Imagine you're a mobile suit and the freaking Mazinger just like doubles in size at you right in front of you and fires a giant fist. What goes through your brain? This is as big as your mobile suit. Also, if you're this guy, what's going through your brain? <laughs> I guess King K could wrap it up. Um, Sigiri can't get over there. Well, who's higher? Her or Sig Sigiri's higher. He's got one more soul. See that? I guess who's got the black? Oh, well, works for us now. All right. Oh, last one, okay. Yeah, super, definitely a little too hard. Basic. It was tr it's tricky because it's like, oh, you have nine units to start, but I'm like, four of them, five of them are units that nobody would really use in the game. So it's still kind of put me behind the eight ball a little bit. <laughs> It's been 98, perfect. All right. Yeah, that's that's the statement. If you didn't get all this backup. Hooray! Oh, we got a fighter spirit? Straight up, huh? Oh, and, a, and just another straight up potential and an instinct. Oh, those are, those are all useful. Fire Spirit's actually pretty good. Um, maybe, probably one of the Mazingers. What, they were Zaku's? They were, uh, what, oh, like, no, it was Gauss. They're no Zaku's. So the fact they had the word Neo Zeon written on them. Oh, sweet, that means a gun buster next time. We won the day and things got to worse. We're over a million dollars again. Damn, all right. Kincaid's up to number one because, um... Because, uh, Noriko's on leave. Uh oh. Okay, so they're a little worried, but that's not too bad. Okay, um, change pilot. So, we want to get five mechs next time? Holy crap. And no EVs? All right, that narrows it down. It uh, actually doesn't. That means I can't use, oh, I mean, if I put like the, th the three big guys in there and like one of them, then I'm losing Amaro and I'm losing Kinkade. I mean, I, it probably has to be Amaro Kincaid, because they're my they're my double hitters. Oh wow, it's actually hard. I thought. Um, did I get okay? That F91 right there is level five. Wait, how's that work? Oh, this one's level five. This one's like customed without um. Any parts? This has parts. It just so happens to have the exact same amount of health. That's weird. I thought my I, had, I thought my my F91 was better than that. 
Okay, but uh, just in case we got a sortie more, Shark, get the hell out of there. Haman, get back in. I mean, we got the Sazabi. I can put Quest in the Sazabi. She's at least a decent pilot. I can put Amuro back in the new Gundam. Okay, well, I mean, only being able to search five next time is going to be tricky. I'm still saving the money because I don't want to upgrade anybody until we get the units for the actual uh, DLC portions of it, like the, from the previous games. So we'll go from there. Okay, so yeah, going basic, where we were only down anywhere from... Well, for characters that I actually used anywhere from 5 to 15 levels, much more reasonable than being down anywhere from 20 to 40 levels. <laughs> oh, that was so bad. Okay. Once again, I don't think that was a straightforward explanation on that screen. You guys saw that text. Uh, but good. We're going basic. First map's done. Next time we do the next one. Uh, we're obviously going to be putting the band back together. I'll figure out what five I'm going to put in. I think I have an idea. I mean, I'll probably sit uh, a couple of units out and put some other guys in just to get it going. But until next time, thanks to you guys so much for watching. We're going to keep doing this to the end. I know there's splits, and I'll think about doing both splits or not. We'll see how much time I have like before, but we're at least going to do the one full run of this entire thing before we call it good. And I'm, I think I read who the final, final boss is this, and I'm not looking forward to it, but we'll see how it goes. So until next time, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.